Who wouldn't like cheap, cleanly generated electric power? Imagine a technology that eats nuclear waste and atomic weapons for fuel. Imagine that it's the safest method of power generation we've ever produced. What if every person on the planet could have it? That's what the family of Generation 4 power technologies can deliver. It's like the Tesla of power generation. Welcome, my friend, to WTK, the What to Know Show. I'm your host, Peter Whalen, and all my life I've heard how we must reduce our carbon emissions and stop using fossil fuels. I can't believe we're not doing it right now. As Stomp and Tom uh, used to say, if we don't get at it, when we get to it, then we won't get to it to get at it again. Here in Canada, we enjoy blue skies and many sources of clean power. But we can't raise the supply of renewables fast enough to meet all our needs by 2030. Hydroelectric dams are protested and delayed every time we try to build one. Solar occupies a lot of space and it only works during the day. Some consider them ugly. I'm a kite surfer and I love wind power, but the wind doesn't blow all the time. We need safer, more efficient designs for wind turbines. They can be deceptively large. The biggest ones are three times higher than the Statue of Liberty. Don't worry, the men working in that one got out safely. In Canada, we have can-do third-generation nuclear power plants. They have a 30-year track record of safe operation. Can-do doesn't need ugly cooling towers or a massive amount of land. It's the safest power ever produced. Now, I know what you're thinking. Nuclear? Isn't it dangerous? What about that famous disaster? Well, that was different technology based on designs that were over 40 years old. It's like comparing a 70s mainframe computer to today's smartphone. They're both computers, but they're very different designs. Generation 4 nuclear power is designed to safely shut down if anything fails. Adding Gen 4 reactors to existing nuclear fac facilities would make them safer. And over 3 million people a year die due to fossil fuel pollution. So why isn't the majority of our power cleanly generated? Well, some people are triggered by the word nuclear. They react like the pointy-haired boss in this uh, Dilbert comic. I invented a type of nuclear power that has zero risk. It can be built in one day for less than $1,000, and it can power a small city. Get that thing out of here! I expect it will be a hard sell. And that's the problem. We are deeply affected by vivid stories. After seeing Jaws, some people won't swim in the ocean. Movies and sensationalized news affect us to such a degree that we make judgments contrary to real-world evidence. Don't let mass media assign your opinion to you. Uh, read the links that I've provided in the show, show notes and educate yourself. Form your own opinion. Our future depends on it. I spent a couple of weeks in China and never saw blue sky. I bet China will mass produce thousands of fourth generation nuclear power plants. Then they'll get to enjoy blue skies and cheap energy. Imagine that. Now, to be fair, well, to be fair. Uh, to be fair. To be fair. To be fair. To be fair. There are people opposed to every single one of the clean technologies I've mentioned. They use the power of ignorance and fear to oppose the use of these technologies. They're like uh, Agent Smith in this clip from uh, The Matrix. Human beings are a disease. A cancer of this planet, you are a plague, and we are the cure. They see humanity as the problem. Don't be that guy. He's creepy. Learn about Gen 4 nuclear. You'll feel optimistic about our future. And you matter. It's important to add your voice to the cause. Gen 4 is the only solution we have that is quickly scalable to billions of people, carbon-free, and always available. Our climate change problems can be solved. Along the way, we'll end up with cheap, clean, abundant energy. And that will allow us to desalinate ocean water so that everyone can have a clean, fresh water supply. Gen 4 can be built next to existing nu nuclear plants so the nuclear waste can be recycled as fuel. That handles the transportation and storage problem. 
And the power distribution lines are already there. It's not the final solution. Nuclear power is not renewable. We have enough uranium today to meet all our needs for at least 10,000 years. Experts say closer to a million years. So we need to develop green technology too. Would you do me a favor? Share, share this idea. Uh, click on the uh, thumbs up button and to like this video or click on the picture in the uh, upper right corner to subscribe to my channel because that would be helpful. Be seeing you. That's fairly interesting. This is the What to Know Show with your host, Peter Weyland.